hi guys welcome to my video so today i'm gonna be talking about dina schlosser let's get started <music> So to start, I'm just going to tell you who, what she had done. Basically, she cut off her 10 to 11 month old baby's arms and killed her. And this was as a religious thing, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I'm going to start talking about how it all kind of started to go wrong and when things kind of started to get bad she was born in 1969 and lived in plano texas her baby was her third daughter dina had started to show signs of depression after her child was born and even with the first um two girls she had also shown like a little bit of postpartum depression as well but her husband didn't really pay attention to her. In January 2004, Dina's neighbors had called CPS on her because they had seen that she had run down the street from where her apartment was and they saw her five-year-old daughter chasing after her in a bike. She was accused of neglecting her daughters and when the cops came to their house, the daughter actually had said that she left her six-day-old baby in the apartment alone along with her two older sisters. Caseworkers visited the family throughout that spring and that summer. And Dina was actually treated for depression most of that year as well. They deemed her stable in August, three months before the murder. Her husband, John says that she had shown signs of depression after the baby was born. She showed disturbing behavior, like she had actually slit her wrists. But he says that he wasn't worried too much and didn't even care to take her to counseling. And you see, sometimes I feel like the signs are there obviously the signs were very much there for her she slit her wrist that should have told him that something was very wrong and he should have taken her to get the help that she needed had he done that the child would still be alive and she probably would never have thought about hurting her baby a week before the death of the baby Dina actually had said that she wanted to give her baby to her church pastor, Doyle Davidson. She would tell her husband, I want to give my baby to Doyle. I want to give my baby to God. The day that the child died, Dina called her husband at work and let him know that she had cut the baby's arms off. John called the daycare that Dina worked at and asked one of her coworkers to check up on her and the baby while he drove back home. The worker called Dina and then immediately after called 911. The operator said that Dina actually confessed and said that she had cut the baby's arms off and she also heard a gospel song playing in the background. When the police got there, they saw Dina sitting there calmly covered in blood with a knife in her hand, singing Christian hymns. She had cut off her daughter's arms and actually sliced pretty deep into her shoulders as well. Dina had seen a news story about a boy who had been mauled by a lion and apparently thought that it was a sign that the apocalypse was coming. She had heard God telling her that she had to cut her own and her baby's arms, legs, head, and somehow give them to God. She pleaded not guilty for reasons of insanity and her lawyers were trying to prove that she didn't know right from wrong at the time that she killed her baby. And the prosecutors weren't trying to look for the death penalty for her 
but they did want her to serve a life sentence. CPS took both of their daughters and asked the judge to take away custody from both Dina and John because John didn't protect the baby from Dina or didn't seem to be alarmed by the call that he had gotten and didn't see it as a sign that Dina had hurt their baby. In the trial, she was diagnosed with postpartum psychosis as well as a brain tumor. That is believed that that was the reason why she was getting hallucinations and that she was hearing God talk to her. In 2006, a judge found her not guilty for reasons of insanity. She was sent to a mental institution in 2008. She was released from the institution based on doctor recommendations. She was reinstitutionalized in 2010 and then again released in 2012. John filed for divorce and got custody of both of their daughters, which Dina is actually forbidden to see. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.